Let's talk about Passive Anti-Theft System or PETS from Ford. So the way PETS works, it's comprised of three elements. One is your key, which contains a chip in it. Second uh, is this transmitter. It is located on your key cylinder. So when you take out your key cylinder, it will be mounted there. You will need that and you will need uh, what port calls a control module. Now the control module differ differs from year to year. Uh, Ford has it broken down in systems, so they call it A, B, C, D, E, F, G systems. Um, they were used in different years. Now uh, I'll show you quickly what years they used it in. Sorry for my bad handwriting. And on the side you will see the years, uh, I, I wrote down some years, those are the Mustangs that use those uh, specific systems. Now I'll run you quickly through them. If you have a 96 to 97 Mustang, uh, your car uses a A system, which uh, uses a standalone module. So it is a specific PETS module that is used to to communicate with the key and the transceiver, it should look something like this. So if that's what you have, then you need those three uh, elements. If you have a 98 Mustang, then you have the B system, which also uses that standalone module. The standalone module is located behind the steering wheel. Uh, from what I read, it's pretty small, so it's somewhere behind there. I will leave a link down below to, to, the, to the paper I'm showing you or reading from right now so you can read it through um, yourself. If you have a 99 to 04 Mustang, you will need the C system. Now, uh, A and B are not in use anymore, so are D and E. They're discontinued. In the paper, you will see from what year to what year they were, they were in use. But C is still around, so... Uh, in general, in, in Ford, but as far as Mustangs, they only use it in 99 to 04, and that uses the instrument cluster. Now, it's not just the instrument cluster in that one, as you can see in this paper. It specifies under instrument cluster, uh, virtual image cluster, VIC, hybrid electronic cluster, HEC, and instrument cluster module, ICM. So you will need all three of those plus the transceiver and the key to make this work. If you have a 05 to 07, so now we're talking S197 Mustangs, you'll have the E system, which is powertrain control module, which you need anyway, so you, you'll be fine. F and G, uh, these are from 2006 and 2007 upwards. They're still being used, so I'm assuming my car uh, since it's a uh, 2011 and I'm swapping in a 2012, they'll be using those. The F system uses, again, the power control module, which I have, no issue. And if it's the G, then it's using the instrument cluster module, which I also have. So I should be fine. The car should fire up. So that's that uh, as far as pets goes and what you need to not trigger it. If you don't have the key or you're swapping into an older Mustang and you won't be using the PCMs or the, the donor car's uh, key and, cylind uh, and uh, transceiver or the whole uh, steering wheel, so then you will need to either delete pets, which is an option. Uh, it's around $200 to $300 depending on who's doing it plus shipping, because you need to send your ECU or your PCM uh, to that person. They need to physically alter, uh, open up and alter um, the PCM in order to disable pets. And then afterwards it can be, get, it can be triggered or um, turned off via tune. So in order to, so yeah, you can do that, you can do the pets delete or you can um, have your key uh, programmed to your PCM so you the key you're gonna use 
uh, you can program it to your PC, PC, your PCM. Uh, I will leave a, leave a link down below to the procedure on how to do it uh, depending on which system you have, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Depending on that system, there's a different procedure for uh, programming master keys and your uh, spare keys. So you can find that down below. There's also a list that will show you the codes uh, that are connected to the passive anti-theft system, which will be useful if you do end up in a ditch with the pets system. So you at least have uh, an understanding of what might be the issue. Uh, there's also a what is not a pets issue section. In case you find any of those issues, at least you know it's not pets related. Apart from that, um, there's not much else to the pets system. That's really it. Now, I've been talking to a lot of people on the forums, uh, on the Facebook forums, people who work with those cars every day, who dismantle them for a living, uh, put them up with pallets, you know, turnkey pallets, and I've gotten different information from those people, just like everyday real life information. Um, it appears that pets will sometimes get triggered by just random stuff. Uh, one example is uh, a guy told me that they cut the, I think, negative uh, battery uh, cable and it triggered pets. Now, I don't know why, he doesn't either, but it just triggered pets. Uh, other people told me that you actually need the body control module to make it work, which is located in the passenger side uh, footwell. Some said you actually need the radio, that pets uh, communicates through the radio as well. I mean, it checks the radio. Some even said, uh, actually one guy said that you need the actual door cylinders, uh, the key cylinders for pets not to get triggered. Now, I don't think that one is correct because from what I read, pets does not have anything to do with the alarm system or the uh, keyless entry. So I don't think that's a thing, but as far as Ford and what other people have been writing on on the internet, you know those articles. Um, it's really it really boils down to those three elements: key, transceiver, and control module. Again, depending on your gear, it will differ what it is. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, leave your leave a comment down below, and I'll try and answer uh, as as good as I can. And I'm by no means a pets uh, expert or anything. I've been just doing the research for my own uh, needs, for my own swap. So I do have a limited knowledge of the of the matter, but the material. But uh, I'll try and do my best to answer the questions if you have any. So yeah, um, good luck with with pets.